Okay, hey YouTube, this is Most Electronics here. Today I want to do, um, show you guys a very uh, simple audio amplifier circuit, well, uh, microphone amplifier circuit uh, to build. If you are in need of a uh, microphone amplifier circuit <clears throat> for a project, um, that you need to interface a microphone, like an electric microphone with, um, this, so, this uh, circuit only requires uh, five components, which is nice. And it'll give you um, ample voltage for your Arduino input if you're using an Arduino, or if you need to um, amplify it even more. Um, so basically, uh, we have five components here. You know, have an electric uh, microphone. Um, I think I got this out of an old uh, telephone. Uh, but if you Google uh, electric microphone on eBay, or uh, and you'll find a bunch on eBay, Amazon, they're dirt cheap. Um, you're gonna need, a, need about a 3K resistor here and then you're just going to need um, two capacitors these are um, 0.01 microfarad and then you're going to need a uh, the heart of this is really just a uh, LM386 op amp and then you're going to need a breadboard if you want to use it and then um, 5 volts so I'm not even using minus 5 volts I'm only using, only using positive 5 volts um, for a power supply so I have my ground here and then a plus 5 volts Okay, so let's start uh, <clears throat> building this. And of course, I'm gonna use wires. You don't have to use wires. You, you can wire it all up uh, in one rail, I suppose, but uh, I'm going to use wires. So let's uh, first, actually, let's do the microphones first. So let's plug uh, our microphone into our minus rail here. And also with the microphones, I do believe that they are polarized because there is a transistor inside of here um, so just be mindful uh, if it doesn't work just try switching yours around it's not a big deal um, so the microphone here um, one problem or one thing if you if you're gonna try to build a circuit without the resistor it's not gonna work because you need to um, keep your you need to turn the transistor on inside this microphone um, <clears throat> for it to work because essentially there's a, I think there's a small capacitor, um, a variable capacitor plate or some something like that that um, moves when it detects sound sound movement, um, the sound pressure, and then the uh, transistor amplifies that up to um, I think about the tens of millivol millivolts is what I saw on the uh, on my oscope. And I can show you that, show you guys that later. But let's just keep going with this. So. Uh, Plug the resistor into uh, positive five volts here. Okay, now we're going to have our capacitor in series with the resistor or with the resistor and the microphone here. So here we go. So you see, uh, it's, they're all on the same rail, and the capacitor goes to a new wire here. And then let's uh, plug in our <clears throat> op amp over here. And now let's take the input of the op amp and we're going to put that on the, uh, we're going to put that on pin three, the op amp here. Then pin one, not connected, pin two is to ground pin 4 goes to ground uh, pin 8 right here not connected 7 not connected six is to positive five volts so <clears throat> let's put pin six to five volts here and with a lot of the uh, other op amp circuits you um you will need a plus or minus voltage um like plus or minus 12 volts plus or minus five volts but this works with plus or minus five volts, perfectly fine. Um, it's your signal is not going to be uh, 
it's not going to be stellar but it's uh clearly audible if you even uh if you connect a microphone to it like i or a, yeah if you or sorry a speaker to it like i actually have a um, 3.5 millimeter jack so i can plug in headphones um but if you want to go to an arduino it's perfectly fine um <clears throat> you can see on an oscilloscope real nice and i'll show you that later and then pin 5 is our output here and then what we're going to do we're going to put a capacitor on pin 5 and that capacitor is going to take out the dc offset so um if you are going to use an Arduino, you might want to remove the capacitor. Um, your voltage will be raised, but you'll be able to capture all the, let's say, positive and negative values, I suppose, for the whole sine wave. Um, but I think uh, I like having the DC offset taken off. So if you want to make a clapper circuit, it works perfectly fine. You just need to have a circuit that will detect the, uh, the peak that's not too hard to build and then uh, here's going to here's going to be the output so this orange wire here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, 3.5 millimeter oh let me give the top down view right here so top down view to so remember the Condenser microphone is uh, polarized, or sorry, not condenser, electric. Um, two point oh one microfarads, LM three eighty six op amp. You can buy these real cheap on eBay. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of other op amps, but I just chose LM three eighty six. I have one. I had one on hand. So now I'm going to wire up my uh, three point five millimeter headset jack. And then I'll put, plug in some headphones here. And let's see if I can turn on the power supply. Okay, so <clears throat> we're left off. I uh, make sure to connect the rails here as we are using this other rail over here. Um, now let's plug in our headphones. My power supply is on. And let me test it here. And let me see if you guys can hear this. It sounds pretty good actually. Yeah, it sounds uh, sounds pretty good. It's good enough for um, <clears throat> any Arduino uh, use. If you're gonna do any fast signal processing, I don't really recommend this, but it will work. And uh, this jack here is only one channel, unfortunately. So uh, it's uh, I can only hear it through one speaker, um, but it picks up uh, everything pretty nicely. So here's the full circuit guys uh oh. okay so i just wanted to go over the uh <clears throat> the circuit a little bit just just to show you guys uh the amplification so uh i just uh probed the scope um at this point right here um with a with just the microphone when it's turned on and we have a uh i this was just a, a little uh snap of the fingers and it's only at 200 millivolts so uh not not very good at all um and then we uh <clears throat> and that i think that's about a 400 peak to peak at the max um that's not even with voice voice was probably uh well below 100 probably in the tens range um and then this is a snap at uh same distance and everything just at the output and we just got a, a nice uh vpp of about uh, three volts so we went from uh 400 millivolts to three volts so that's quite a uh, quite a difference and this 
is now uh, detectable on your Arduino using your ADC. If you want to use a snap or something, that's very possible, or a, um, a peak detector, very possible. Um, if you wanted to make an Arduino program to uh, trigger some code or something at a uh, high AD, at the at the highest sampled ADC value, that's very very doable. Um, but yeah, you can't just uh, there's no way to just take a mic, uh, take your electric microphone and plug it into your ADC. You gotta do some amplification, and this is a really simple circuit, and it only requires uh, one, two, three four parts plus um, this is optional um, but I do I would recommend it it's um, it's not fully needed but you would have to um, on your 80 on your analog digital converter you would have to be mindful of the DC offset um, so you'd have to just make sure you know where the DC offset is if it's at 3 volts or five volts, um, but this just this just is at straight zero volts. So you don't even you don't even have to be mindful of your uh, DC offset, which is nice for your ADC. Uh, okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe.